of Wuhan, today is our annual celebration. And this year, we are looking for the next Master Warrior. So prepare yourself, especially my disciples, in the JG Master Academy. Hi, my name is Lee Hen Ha, and I can do Kung Fu well. My dream is to be the Master Warrior, and I have my secret plan and best way to become one. Do you want to know? It is called self control. How do I do it? Let me tell you this but don't tell anyone. Make sure you follow this secret. First, I have to learn my proper clothes. This is my training and lesson clothes. Even that this is a little bit uncomfortable, but have to be in self control and bear this uncomfortable feelings for just a little while, and then I get the master warrior. And second, in the middle of my training, or sometimes when I learn the new moves from the book, I feel I'm a little bit hungry and my great things about a lot of good and delicious food. But as you can guess, no food in the middle of training or the lesson. Huh. So, I learned this new trick. And have to eat before the training or my lesson. There are no distractions around me, whether it's cashier, phone, laptop, television. I make sure that it is all clean and I can focus on my training, my lesson. And one more thing, I do not forget to pray for my training or my lesson. So, if you guys want to follow me, let's open this with prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you Lord for all your blessings, for all your goodness, for this beautiful day that we can gather here. Lord, we want to start our lesson today, so please Lord, bless every one of us, our teacher, all the children, so that we can learn the word of God. Thank you, Lord, and we give you all this time. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, now it's time for me to get back to my training. Yeah. Although we are a master, there's someone above us who gave us our power. That's why we praise and worship Him. And we invite all of you to praise Him together. I will fight this fight. I will run this race. I will serve the Lord in all I do. Till I see your face. I will fight this fight. I will run this race. I will serve the Lord in all I do. I see your face I see the cross before me So I keep on pressing on God is calling so I wander back This word is keeping me on the track To Jesus To Jesus To Jesus To Jesus I will fight this fight I see your face. I see the 
cross in front of me So I keep on pressing on God is calling to my hand of death His work is keeping me on the track To Jesus To Jesus To Jesus To Jesus I will fight this fight I will run this place I will serve the Lord in all I do Till I see your face I will fight this fight I will run this place I will serve the Lord in all I do Till I see your face Till I see your face Nothing can separate your love from us, Jesus. Amen? Amen. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. What can take your love away? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. What can make us separate? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. In death or in life. Deep or what's high There's one thing that stays the same No power or king Would do anything To take your love away Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing What can take your love away? Nothing Nothing, absolutely nothing What can make us separate? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing In death or in life What's deep or what's high? There's one thing that stays the same No power or king Could do anything To take your love away Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing Let us prepare our hearts to worship the King of all kings Ooh, In the darkness we were waiting Without hope, without light Till from heaven you came running There was mercy in your eyes To fulfill the law and prophets To a virgin came the word From a throne of endless glory To a cradle in the dirt Praise the for 
Though that stone was smooth for good, for the Lamb had conquered that, and the dead rose from their tombs, and the angels stood in awe for the souls of all who'd come to the Father are restored, and the Church of Christ was born. Then the Spirit lit the flame. Now this gospel truth of all shall not kneel, shall not fade. By His blood and in His name, it is freedom I am free. For the love of Jesus Christ, who has resurrected me. Sing it together, church. Praise the Father, praise the Son, praise the Spirit, three in one. God of glory, majesty, praise forever to the King of kings. Before is snake style kung fu. This style of kung fu focuses on attacking vital areas of our enemy, like eyes and joints. This style of kung fu needs hand-eye coordination and muscle memory because it is repeating an action over and over again. Learning kung fu is really need power from our stamina, but don't forget. The most important thing in Kung Fu is our memory. You know kids, I'm an expert in memorizing. I can memorize easily every Kung Fu movement and also history behind it. In order to become a Kung Fu master, I've got a challenge. Let's take a look what's inside. Wow! It's a new style of Kung Fu! Let's learn it together. I believe it will be useful for all of us. Be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Ephesians 6 verse 10 Be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Ephesians 6, verse 10. Come on, let's repeat it together with the movement. Be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Ephesians 6, verse 10. Be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Ephesians 6, verse 10. Congratulations, we have learned a new Kung Fu style. We must always remember it so that we can always be strong to face anything in our life. I love you just so my power in memorizing this new Kung Fu style. It's so amazing, right? I only take few seconds to remember all of it. With my power, I believe I can pass this challenge and become the next Kung Fu Master. Once upon a time in a far, far oriental Pearl China city called Wuhan, there lived a Kung Fu warrior named Li Tapao. 
Li Tapao is a true Kung Fu legend. He is fast, he is strong, he moves like a butterfly and stings like a bee. He is the no play play Li Tapao. I am Li Tapao. I am the master of all master of Kung Fu. I am the strongest and the biggest Kung Fu master in all of China. Today, I'm going to compete in the Kung Fu Masters and I am going to win. My master Sifu said. Li Tapao, you have to remember that through your own strength, your power is limited. In the Bible, Deuteronomy 8, verse 17 to 18, it says, you may say to yourself, my power and my strength of my hands have produced this wealth for me. But remember, the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you the ability to produce wealth and so confirms His covenant which He swore to your ancestors as it is today. No, no, no. I do not need Jesus in my life. I can do it on my own strength and power. With my ultimate power, I will win the Kung Fu Master. Round 1 Li Tapao versus Jackie Chan. <laughs> Li Tapao lost. No, no, no. Round 2. Lee Tapao versus Ip Man. <laughs> Lee Tapao lost again. Why? Why? That is when he remembered what Kung Fu Master Sifu said to him. But remember, the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you the ability to produce wealth and so confirms His covenant which He swore to your ancestors as it is today. And the story of the faithful Daniel in the lion's den. It is hereby decreed that Daniel, found in contempt of the edict of the king, and in direct disobedience to his charge, shall be thrown to the lions. Oh, Daniel, how the favorite has fallen. Where is your god now? The lion's roar may be mighty, Arslan, but my god is mightier. <laughs> May your God, whom you serve so faithfully, rescue you. Who approaches? A friend of Daniel's. May I speak with you, my lord? You risk your life to speak to me. What could possibly be so important? Doing the right thing. Pardon me. Your Highness, do you know that the men who asked you to enforce that decree are evil? I know they conspire for power. Sometimes, even a king can be uncertain about what is right. I will not sleep this night.
Why do we hurry, Your Highness? Daniel is most certainly dead. We will find out whether or not Daniel's god is real. You! Come to me. My king, those are the ones that have been making all the trouble. Those two, and that girl, have my pardon. One. The seal is still unbroken. Move the stone! <laughs> Daniel? <laughs> he talks to the dead. Daniel, you were faithful and served your god. Was he able to save you from the lions? Long live the king! What? Impossible! Woohoo! Oh, I made it! Oh, I made it! My god sent his angel to shut the lions' mouths so they would not hurt me, for I have been found innocent in his sight. And also, O oh King, I have done no wrong before you. Lift him out! I command everyone in my kingdom to worship and honor the God of Daniel. But my lord, my lord, that's not the... He is the living God, the one who lives forever. His power and his wisdom will never end. He rescues people and sets them free by working great miracles. Just like Daniel in the lion's den, we must live our life with faith and prayer. Through Jesus Christ, I'll find my ultimate source of strength and power. Through Jesus Christ, all things are possible. Congratulations, Li Pinghou and Li Jingxia, for being the next master warrior. Yes, finally we won it! Thank Jesus for your power! Congratulations for both of us! Yes! yes. Both of you deserve it. All of you has displayed various power and strengths, but only Li Pinghou and Li Qingxia understand the meaning and the source of true power that comes from God from praying to Him. We must always remember that we can be who we are today is only because of Him and His grace. He is the source of true power, and we can only achieve the true power by praying. We must use the true power for a good purpose, which allows others to see and experience that our God is a great and powerful God. Let's watch a testimony video about God's power. A toddler falls down a well. Somebody said there was water in it. Head first. From all practical purposes, he was dead. Watch the miracle that wowed the medics. It's it, everything you've ever thought of at your worst moment in your life. You're just praying that this is a dream. This isn't happening. On May 21st, 2008, Bruce and Kelly Jackson's 22-month-old son, Eric, wandered away from the playground at a local Mother's Day Out program. Before caregivers noticed he was missing, Eric fell headfirst into a six and a half foot abandoned well. But then I said, well, there wasn't water in it, was there? And they said, could you just meet us at the ER? At this point, you know, I realized, <laughs> somebody said there was water in it. We arrived on the scene. We were presented the child by the staff there. I do not know how long without oxygen, but from our indicators, from what we look for, um, he was cyanotic, he was blue. He, it, there was nothing on the, uh, the monitor, no one showing no heart activity, he was not breathing on his own. In all practical purposes, he was dead. First responders immediately started CPR, and Eric was rushed to the nearest hospital. But they said they needed me to go back and see him, that if I wanted to see him, it probably needed to be right now, and I thought, what do you mean? Then it kind of started hitting me. 
And then I was like, no, I'm not going back without Bruce. We went over and um, um, held his hand. And um, he didn't seem recognizable. He wasn't, he wasn't a little boy we saw that morning. And um, <clears throat> they were still doing everything they could. But after 90 minutes of CPR and without any additional medical intervention, Eric's condition changed suddenly. And they came running outside and said his heart is beating again. Miraculous is a word, unbelievable. Uh, in my 25 years, never seen before, unexplainable. Still in critical condition, Eric was life flighted to Vanderbilt Children's Hospital. They told us that his uh, kidneys had shut down, um, that his lungs were damaged, that his liver was shutting down, um, his uh, internal organs were failing. Um, they didn't know the extent of the brain, brain damage. And they said, if he makes it through the night, we'll talk tomorrow. My prayers were. I wasn't sure if he was going to be okay, but I knew that um, I just needed God's strength, whether he made it or he didn't, but I kind of really didn't think he was. As news of Eric's accident spread, people all over the world were praying for him. Our church during that time period was just amazing, overwhelming. I just, I couldn't believe it. At this point, uh, there were it had to have been thousands of people praying for us. You just felt the love and the concern, and I, I haven't experienced anything like that in my life. Eric was on life support and in a coma. After one week, due to his lack of progress, doctors scheduled a meeting with Bruce and Kelly. He was on you know, breathing machines and, and all the necessary equipment to keep him alive. They were gathering all the specialists, and uh, we were supposed to meet that afternoon. But the Jacksons never had that conference with the doctors. Before the meeting, that's when um, one of the nurses ran in and said that he was awake. <laughs> um, as, it, as exciting as it was when he was born, that was even better. It was just an amazing experience. And when, I, when you talk to a medical professional, that that's what they do and they see and they see so many other things and they're just like, this is amazing. This is miraculous. In the months to follow, Eric had to undergo extensive physical therapy to learn how to walk, talk and eat again. So you could see the delays in certain areas, but that gap just kept getting narrow, more and more narrow. Today, Eric has no residual effects from the accident and is a bright and healthy eight year old. He's just funny. I think he's just smart and sweet, and I think he's a good friend, and I think he's, uh, you know, I'm his mom, so I think he's just great. <laughs> if you saw him, you would never know that anything had happened. Every day, he's just, uh, he, he does uh, the things that you would expect a normal boy to do. The Jacksons say they pray Eric's experience will bring hope to hurting families. My relationship with Christ is just kind of put the exclamation point on it. He didn't fail me. Couldn't have made it without him. I think just trusting and believing that he, he's got a plan. Well, on your faith, he's good, and um, he's going to be there with you. Wow, such an amazing story of God's miracle. A boy named Eric, who was 22 months old, fell into a well, and his internal organs started to fail. He was in a coma for a week. His parents and the whole church prayed for him, for his healing. And miraculously, he was healed and awake from his coma. He grew up like a normal boy, and you would never imagine that such a thing happened to him before. Through this story, we know that when we trust God and pray to Him for help, He will always be there for us and give us the strength to carry on. Do we have confidence in God that He can do something even if impossible? That He answers prayers and take care of bad situations? God has given us the right to pray to Him and depend on Him. God wants others to know that He is great and that He loves them. How will they know that? We can tell them, but when they experience God touching their lives, then they will start believing. 
Let's show the world God's power by praying for people and depending on God. As we are faithful in praying for people, may the heart and love of God fill us so that we touch the people because we love them and not because we have to. Think of some people you know and the problems that they have. Love the people and ask God to help them. Then look for opportunities this week to serve those people and pray with them and to depend on God for His help and kindness. And today, I would like to invite any one of you who wants to ask God for His forgiveness and invite Jesus as our Lord and Savior. May God also give us the opportunities to touch other people's lives with His power. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner. I believe you died for me on the cross so that I might be saved. Right now, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. Thank you, Jesus, for forgiving me of all my sins and giving me eternal life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now, let's have quiz time! First question. Recite scripture memory verse. Ephesians 6 verse 10. B. Dash 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 in the Lord and in His mighty dash dash dash. A. Happy and love. B. Strong and power. C. Joyful and power. Second question. How do we show others God's power? A. By praying and depending on God. B. By living positively with faith and confidence in God. C. By showing them what God is doing in our lives. D. By treating other people with love. Third question. What did Elijah do when the child died? A. Do nothing. B. Think of what will God do about the situation. C. Hung unto God as he prayed and trusted God to do something. D. Panic and cry. Fourth question. God has made it possible that we can depend on him as we pray and he will act. True or false? And the announcement for today is meet and greet session on Sunday at 9 a.m where we watch online service together, greet our friends and teachers, and you can also ask whatever questions you have regarding the lesson. And we have special prize for you who attended and participated in our quizzes. And if you would like to pray for us to pray for you, you can message us at this number. Dear Lord, thank you for today that we can learn about your power in our life. As we pray and depend on you, you be there for us and give us the strength to carry on. We believe that you are a powerful God and nothing is impossible for you. May you continue to bless our parents and brothers and sisters, give them a good health and bless the works of their hands. May you continue to bless Indonesia and the government. Give them the wisdom to lead this country from glory to glory. May you also bless our church, pastors, and teachers. May your anointing come upon them and bless their ministries that more and more people will know you. May you also bless those people who are not feeling well or looking for jobs that you grant them complete healing and favor in the marketplace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Happy Sunday and see you again next week. God bless you.